What's up guys, Politics Gaming here, and today we are going to play Flight Simulator X. Um, this is a game I've had since I was uh, very young. I had it um, because I was really interested in planes and stuff like that. And um, today we're going to really um, do a really short flight. Um, maybe take about at least maybe 10-15 minutes. And uh, we are doing a, a flight from... Uh, Shepherd Air Force Base or uh, Wichita Falls um, to Dallas Love and um, we are going to go ahead and uh, prepare um, already got the uh, air traffic control set up so we're going to go ahead and ask for uh, clearance for takeoff and uh, we're going to go ahead and put on that seatbelt sign make sure all of our passengers are seatbelt uh, make sure the seatbelts are on um, and for a uh, good good measure, we're gonna go ahead and make sure they're not smoking at the same time. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and activate that uh, acknowledge this takeoff clearance and taxi lights. Uh, who need that? All right, go ahead, go ahead and uh, put our th flaps up. Make sure they are set up the right way. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that at about 50%. Um, whoops. Looks good from the outside. And um, this is an executive jet, a, a CRJ-175 I believe. And um, gonna go ahead and throttle up and get this bird off the ground and release those parking brakes and let's do it uh, sliding a bit off the runway uh, if you know I cannot figure out for the life of me what the rudder controls are so if you know that, go ahead and comment below. I'm probably going to look it up right after this. Um, hopefully there's no crosswinds whenever we're heading into Dallas Love, whenever we're on, we're on approach. And we're going to go ahead and rotate. Okay. And gear up. I'm going to go ahead and um, find a approach, no not approach, what am I talking about? We're going to go ahead and uh, level off at about uh, 10,000 feet and then we're going to keep a heading of 130 toward uh, Dallas, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And to our right is Wichita Falls, Texas near the border of uh, Oklahoma and Texas. I think you can see the flickering, that's probably the cars. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and climb, maintain the flight level of 10,000. And we got some cloudy days. I went ahead and set it to where it was uh, Yes, I did. I forgot to acknowledge. Okay. We're going to go ahead and turn left for a heading 130. Uh, banked a little too hard. Okay, we're on a heading of 134. Turn a little bit more, get that right on point. And one three zero. Shut up. And let's go ahead. Activate that autopilot. Put it so we can. Alright. 
that's going to go ahead and take us to a flight level 130 or 10000 and um go ahead and close this i'm going to go ahead and take in the scenery make sure let's go ahead and put those flaps back up we don't need them um Ascending at a level of ten degrees. It's kind of funny. Last time I was excel, I was uh, climbing at about twenty degrees, and I turned on the autopilot. Being an idiot, I turned on the autopilot and turned everything on, and was like, "Eh, this is gonna be good." Then I look over. This thing's climbing at about twenty degrees. And I'm like, oh crap, that's that I don't think it should be doing that. And um ends up stalling by the time I notice. And any action that I could have taken was not able to be executed. Alright, let's uh go ahead and turn on that auto speed so we can go ahead and throttle down. Put it at about two three zero. Let's go ahead and acknowledge that handoff one three three point five, and we are about to level off at ten thousand feet. Let's contact Shepard approach, and then since we're reaching our cruising altitude, we're going to go ahead and uh, release our passengers so they don't have to put their seatbelts on. And there's Wichita Falls down there. Um, I don't know what that one is down there. All right, he said 135. So let's go ahead and uh, turn over 135. And then as soon as we start seeing the airport, then we're gonna go ahead and um. Um, and then as soon as we see the airport, we're going to go ahead and take ourselves in. We're not going to be able, we're not going to need a, um, assistance. Launch handoff. And uh, this is something just that I'm not, I don't have any payware. The only thing I had, uh, I bought recently was the um, um, one, the thing that remodels the airports, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I still see this glitch on the runways um, whenever the runways intersect. Um, that's probably because Dallas Fort Worth is probably one of the only airports that I really start at. But <coughs> um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn these on since it's gonna be nighttime by the time we get there. Just take off the no smoking sign. Um, I do know that um, the smoking is not allowed at all on uh, on the planes. Um, I think that's just like a health hazard, or that's just a um, just safety hazard. Like, I mean, you don't want to smoke on a plane, and then that's the only thing you're smelling for the about a, for the rest of the time for the rest of the flight. Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and bring up our GPS because I want to see. There's Dallas Forward Airspace right there. Because. 
because airspace ahead, less than 10 minutes. I'm going to be there in about 18. We're about 75 nautical miles from our destination. And... Yep. Oops. So we are going to open a map down here. Let's go ahead and look. So that's a straight ahead approach. The airport is angled so that I could just fly in on the right side. So that's 15 right. Okay, so we're going to have to realign ourselves because we are a little off course, so we're going to have to readjust that. Let's go ahead and turn 115. We're going to realign ourselves as soon as we get in. Um, we are going to be able to readjust it. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn those lights off until we get there. Got a flight director. Um, if you've never heard of this game, honestly, I think it's a really, really fun game if you're into um, a lot of these things. Um, I'm, I love military games, I love, um, uh, simulators, I love, like, like, political games, like geopolitical simulator, and things like that, anything where you can, like, play something and then do whatever you want. It's, like, up to you about what you're doing. And then things like this, it's just really interesting to me. Um... Like, whenever I was a kid, I used to have obsessions with, like, planes and stuff like that. And it was just, like, really interesting to me. Tra planes, trains, um, at one point it was, like, CDC. It was just really, um, really interesting to me. So, uh, okay, we're going in on regional approach. I'm going to acknowledge that handoff. We're going to go ahead and check our status. We are still coming in, and we are preparing to enter the DFW airspace. Oh, contact regional approach. Okay, we're good on everything, we're good on fuel, because we have a full tank. Flight controls, we're good on hydraulics. 165, fine. Ah, oh, God, I hate this. Why do they want me to turn to 165? Alright, let's go ahead and turn 165. They're probably going to make me maneuver around because I did use an IFR instead of a visual flight plan, which I may start doing visual because I can just start using the GPS. It's an elevator trim position indicator. Um, if this is a just something that, this is just something that like because I do kind of start wanting to post every week. Um, if you don't like this kind of content, um, I'm sorry. I just, I do kind of start wanting wanting to uh, uh, make more variety in um in my content. I don't want to just keep on posting a uh, political simulator, political simulator. 
uh, power and revolution, power and revolution. Like it's, I feel like that it will start to get boring. Um, and I'm, st I am still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the uh, Operation Prosarum. Um, which I am excited for Operation Prosarum, but I do not expect that it will be out by this year. Um, I have to. Maybe it might be out. Um, probably a good, good amount of time after the election. Um, I don't know. It's just I'm, I am trying to think about it. I need to make a script. I'm. I don't know if I am done with the script. I do have a basic setup for it, but it's uh, still in the works, and I don't. I want to make a, a good amount of content to maybe, like, expand my audience, if you know what I mean. So if this is not what you like, um, then you can go ahead and comment what you think. Um, but hopefully, maybe I can uh, start reaching out to other audiences with Kerbal Space Program, Flight Simulator, and uh, things like that. Maybe this is Decatur down here. Alright, once we uh, start seeing Dallas, we're probably going to circle around Dallas one time. And then uh, we're going to request clearance for landing. But hopefully, yeah, next time I'm not going to use a, a IFR because IFR, they just kind of command you to do stuff and it just kind of gets on my nerves. So next time we will be using a uh, visual, visual uh, flight plan. So we're going to go ahead and get ready for landing. We're going to go ahead and throw up that seatbelt sign. And we're going to keep the battery on, obviously. All right. We're going to get flight controls on. Alright, we're approaching the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, I think that's Dallas right there. Maybe that's Fort Worth. I was in Fort Worth the other day. Because this is uh, the city that I live in. Dallas-Fort Worth metropolitan area. Uh, I think that's a Lake Grapevine right there. And then Lake Louis yeah, that's Lake Louisville to our right, or left. And then right next to it is Lake Grapevine. Got an airport down there because I can see it through the clouds. Uh, it sounds weird, I'm not high. Well, I am pretty high, but... Oh, we're flying through some clouds. Hopefully we don't hit any turbulence. Uh, okay getting everything in sight. Alright. Where are you, Dallas Love? Mm. I love that light. Alright, where are you? So we are over Fort Worth right now. Runway, runway, runway. See if we can get K Dow in here. Alright, we're gonna start reducing our speed. Put that out at about one sixty. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and um we're gonna go ahead and cancel our IFR. Uh and acknowledge zero seven five. Yeah, that's 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 Dallas Love right there. 
Yeah, so they're getting us in line for uh, landing. Alright. Um, we're gonna reduce. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. We're gonna assume control over our speed. Went ahead and turn off the autopilot to prevent ourselves from stalling. I'm waiting for them to. No, that's Dallas Fort Worth. Yeah, that's Dallas Fort Worth. International. So, Dallas Love is down here, right in front of me. Probably. No, that's Louisville Lake right in front of me. So, there it is. Dallas is all the way down there. Flying over Flower Mound right now. Fly straight in runway 13R. Or 13R. Alright. Knowledge pattern entry. So it will be obviously the runway on the right. Alright, let's. Alright, I see it. Let's go ahead and make our approach. Let's deploy those flaps. Let's do that one more time. We are officially on approach to Dallas Love, and uh, we will be making our landing momentarily. Let's go ahead and turn those landing lights on that we were so eager not to turn on as we pass Dallas Fort Worth International Airport Let's throttle up a little bit straight in approach we're good we're good we're good runway in sight a lot of air traffic over Dallas Fort Worth. sure those flaps are in full. We will deploy our gear momentarily. Let's make a good, nice approach. Let's turn right a little bit. Okay, one five right, so it's on the right. Let's check that. K dial, K dial, K dial, K dial, K. Okay. That's a lot of lag. And let's turn and get in line before we deploy our gear.
deploy the gear. Throttle down. Knowledge. Landing clearance. Airbus A321 right in front of us. About a mile away, mile ahead of us. Okay. Hopefully we're not going to get very, very strong crosswinds as we're landing because I s yeah, we're getting hit by good strong winds. Crosswinds. There's Dallas, Texas right in front of us. Let's go ahead and come back to the cockpit. I've no I've never always been the best at landing. This is a good, good approach. And touchdown. Let's activate those reverse thrusters. ugly. Okay, maybe we're going to need him. Because I can't see where I'm going. Yeah, I got it. Gonna go ahead and start our taxi. Huh, progressive taxi doesn't work. Alright. Gulf 4 using taxiway s Charlie Delta, so we're gonna have to navigate this ourselves. 
that was uh, one of the better flights that I've had. That was pretty cool. I think we're gonna go ahead and pull up next to this uh, CRJ right here because I don't know how to nav navigate through the airports and I don't think the airport work hell or care. And we are totally out of the line because I suck at this game. And stop. Open that door. And that was our flight. Well, guys, if uh, you like this, uh, go ahead and uh, give me a like on this video. And uh, subscribe to me if you are new here and uh, just step up on this video. And um, cargo door won't open. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, take care guys.